Right, guys. Hello, another video for you all. More content on the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Now, episode three of the Aftershocks DLC. So let's just do a quick recap. We went to buy water in episode one. I did find the cash. There was an optional task to go to the office at the lumber yard. Apparently, I missed something in the bin, but I'd already completed the task, so I don't think it was that important. Episode two. The last episode, we went to Rampart, the Harrowing Halls. I uh, said, so, yep, we found the cache. We've got our ring that we found there. There was a key, a mysterious key, which, yeah, I didn't find what it opens because I basically forgot about it. Uh, we found the cache as I tried to leave uh, the reclaimed uh, coming in to kill everyone. So we managed to escape. So we might swing back to the Rampart school later on see if we can find what that key opens so we've got two of the mementos we'll do the quick loadout check as i like to do so i'll keep the bow i've done a lot with shotguns I'll put that back i'll keep the ar for reasons just quickly reload that let's take i was going to take the grass upper but we can take the Absolution Katana for a bit of melee action. Why not? So I've got K bar knife on my hip. Got a nine millimeter. We're okay for ammo. We'll just check our journal. So we need to travel to the ward, find a way inside the Nile shipping and logistics office building. Okay, so as always, we'll grab ourselves some jambalaya because I can not so much about the hunger and increasing the stamina as it is helping my equipment last a little longer so we'll make our way down to the skiff I just want to point out I'm changing how I'm recording I did do oculus mirror for the first two episodes but yeah, the performance didn't feel very very good so I've gone back to the old school way of doing it which is just a straight uh, game capture. So the advantage of Oculus Mirror was you could see down my right eye when I was aiming. Uh, you won't see that with this capture. So many people would say, oh, you'd, you'd aim better. You'd hit more stuff if you aim down the sights. I do aim down the sights. You just don't see it because of the way it's captured. So I'm hearing some people on the quest are getting crashes and stuff like that. I, I do feel for you. Uh, hopefully there'll be an update soon, which can resolve the little bugs and issues. I'm on the Rift S, so I can't uh, speak for Quest players in the ward. The graphics do feel better. I'm pretty sure the developers said uh, they'd updated the graphics engine, which is good to know. Walker there, walker there. I have turned the voice immersion off simply because I'm doing live commentary as I play. Keep in mind if you've got that on and your dog likes to bark, it's going to give your location away. See the crow circling. around the corner good Ooh. shots fired Good with a bow. Take these weapon from. 
frames. Take my arrows back. I'm looking for these trip wires. You might find those explosive trip wires were just for that first mission, but you never know. zombie. where the lever action was when we did our original playthrough. Flashlight's going out. Couldn't do that if I tried. Right, there's the shipping building. Climb up, get in that way. <laughs> so we'll leave those zombies be. I need to wear out the weapons. Retrieve the cash. Make it sound simple enough. Let's check our corners. Not a lot of point picking stuff up in the rooms as these caches seem to have a lot of stuff in them.
clair. Check the next bathroom. Someone's left me a shotgun. Three rounds, it's not in a good state. It might well jam. It's another reason why I do like the double barrel. It'll break, but that won't jam. I've got trip wires here. Get a knife out. Now let's board it up. It's quiet, it's too quiet. Something on the desk there. Yeah, safe codes, I've already done those. Is that there we go check in for explosive barrels Room's clear. Yeah, explosive trip mine. Zed's dead. Task completed. It's a lot of ammo.
bear with me whilst I pick all this stuff up. Still got some space. An axe there. One of those back at the bus. Journal going to tell me listen to station 47 in the morning, so we just need to get our butts back to the bus. Retrace our steps. Another trip wire. I can hear a zombie. Plenty of room in the backpack because most of the cash was ammo. Which we don't store in the backpack. Headphones, we'll take those. going too well.
thing we can carry. There's a couple of them guarding the exit. Warn AR, it's no good to us, but we'll have the ammo. Pretty sure they were alive fighting off the walkers. Let's see if we've got any ammo for us. No. Back to the bus it is then. in place it's telling me to use sound distraction to avoid groups of walkers they are easy to deal with one at a time so you did see me using the firecracker arrows earlier as a distraction pretty sure it's blacked out for you these tips it did work with the oculus mirror not when i do the game capture a bit weird but it is what it is all right let's go cash in So I said that was relatively easy, but then as we had to get out, it could be uh, challenging for some, dealing with all the reclaimed. So there's my memento. That's what I've got there, adhesive, shafts, workable metal, wood scraps. Gunpowder, workable metal nuts and bolts. Don't really need the knives, I can scrap those as well. I prefer the K-bar knife, I like the look of it. So bindings, nuts and bolts, wood scraps used up my matches earlier so I'll keep some spare ones to decorate the bus Have a shotgun frame so we're good we'll leave it there guys we'll see what the next location is in the next video so have a great day have a great evening whatever it is you choose to do after watching this and as always I'll see you when I see you next, ciao for now.